a 100-inch anniversary dessert, secret snacks in the mayor's office, and a battle royale with another iconic cookie. The history of Fig Newton is filled with plenty of delicious and colorful tidbits. Despite their shared surname, Fig Newtons weren't named after Isaac Newton. After all, when it comes to fruit, the famed physicist is more associated with apples than figs. The actual namesake of the cookie is the city of Newton, Massachusetts, which is about a 25-minute drive from downtown Boston. The company that developed Fig Newtons in the 1890s was known as the Kennedy Biscuit Works. The company's plant manager, James Hazen, had a tradition of naming new baked products after Boston suburbs. So Fig Newtons could just as easily have been called Fig Wellesleys or Fig Brooklines. But thankfully, that's not the case, as those alternate universe names just don't have the same ring to them. Producing Fig Newtons was never as simple as merging sweet dough with a jammy fig filling. In 1891, Kennedy Biscuit Company employee Henry Mitchell invented the cookie extrusion press. This machinery allowed two separate mixtures to be extruded around each other at the same time. In this case, the inner layer was fig paste and the outer layer was cookie dough. It's essentially a funnel within a funnel. Just as essential as the extrusion press was the Fig Newtons recipe. Some claim that Philadelphia businessman Charles M. Roser was the one to invent and sell his fig roll recipe to the company. Others credit the recipe to Henry Mitchell. Either way, the fruit biscuit was patented by Mitchell in 1892. Seven years later, the Kennedy Biscuit Company was bought out by the New York Biscuit Company. And then in 1890, the New York Biscuit Company merged with the American Biscuit Company to create the National Biscuit Company. The National Biscuit Company then became Nabisco in 1941, and the cookie extrusion press and the original recipe tagged along through every merger. The city of Newton is understandably proud of the Fig Newton, but this treat's origins can actually be traced back to Great Britain. And if you follow the path even farther back in time, you'll find the fig rolls that grace lavish medieval Arab tables where they were touted as delicious health foods. In the UK, fig rolls are sold in packages much like Fig Newtons. The curved pastry edges on packaged fig rolls are strikingly similar to the American version, but the homemade version provides even more insight into how this pastry originated. Fig rolls were a popular home-cooked recipe in 19th century Britain, as it was hoped that the fibrous, fruity cookies would help with digestion issues. Despite this transatlantic origin story, all other versions of the treat besides the Fig Newton must accept a generic fig bar label, as the name Fig Newton is a Nabisco trademark. Figs have been a popular food around the world for centuries, but there were no figs in American commercial products when the jammy fruit dewdrop made its first commercial appearance in the Fig Newton. Figs are far more complex than they let on. In fact, one half cup of figs has the same amount of calcium as a half cup of milk. But there aren't a lot of people out there advocating for fig consumption. In the case of Fig Newtons, Nabisco sources fig paste from Valley Fig Growers. As reported by the Washington Post in 1989, the company's blend was customized, but most fig bar paste from Valley Fig Growers consists of black Mission, Calamerna, and Adriatic figs. Carla Gambeschia, the author of La Dolce Vita University, an unconventional guide to Italian culture from A to Z, has written about America's historical lack of interest in fresh figs. The fresh fig has lived in the Fig Newton's shadow for over a century. But as Gambeschia points out, these fruits are gastronomical gems that can be used in a diverse array of sweet and savory dishes. The fig is a very secretive fruit. Fig Newtons are polarizing cookies. Their faithful fans can't get enough of them, while others dismiss them for their signature fig filling. A 2022 episode of the comedy podcast Taste Buds even showcased Fig Newtons in a hotly contested battle against fudge stripe cookies. But despite the controversy and bad blood, there was a time when Fig Newtons could claim a spot among the top of the snack heap. In fact, in 1991, they were the third most popular cookie produced by Nabisco and the third most popular in the United States, as the company could claim all three of the top spots. In 1992, Nabisco was still milking the energy from the 100th anniversary of Newton's the previous year, as they launched a fat-free version and a new marketing campaign. Fig Newton's fit well into the era's low-fat dieting trends and health-focused culture. So at the time, they were behind only two of America's other favorite cookies, Oreos and Chips Ahoy. Data about Fig Newton's place in 2022 isn't readily available, but the cookie's current owner, Mondelez International, was reportedly number one in the cookie market with $3.9 billion in U.S. sales in 2021. 
In the 1970s, Nabisco debuted a Fig Newton character that would change the face of the cookie forever. These ads were all the rage in the disco decade, with actor James Harder as the star. A Massachusetts native, Harder also appeared in TV shows and movies, but the Big Fig role left behind a legacy for the ages. One 1975 ad entitled The Fig Newton Dance captures the character's happy-go-lucky attitude to a T. Harder is dressed like a fig, complete with curly elf shoes and a hat that mimics the narrow stem of a fresh fig. He bites into a cookie, eyes wide, and goes on to sing and dance under light beams. It might seem strange, or even a little gruesome, for an ad to feature a fig engaging in cannibalism, but the ads still have their fans to this day. The comments section for the video on YouTube features people saying things like, my childhood, and this is weird as heck, and I love it. Evidently, this advertising strategy proved effective and still touches figgy hearts to this day. Rich and gooey inside, tender golden outside, mmm, mm, yum, yum, yum. The town of Newton, Massachusetts still clearly wears the Fig Newton badge of honor with pride and has for decades. When Theodore Mann was mayor from 1972 to 1994, he was known for passing out Fig Newtons over the course of his tenure. For him, the cookies were a source of local pride that gave the city an identity. As he told the Associated Press, you don't hear about Fig Philadelphias or Fig New Yorks. No, you hear about Fig Newtons. Mann shared his Fig Newton enthusiasm with all visitors to his office, giving the cookies away as gifts. As the town's director of cultural affairs told the AP, it seems he has an endless supply. And it seems this mayoral tradition of passing out Fig Newtons to visitors has continued. As recently as 2020, Mayor Ruth Ann Fuller was reportedly keeping a Fig Newton stash in her office for visitors to share in the town's cookie joy. Newton Town Pride knew no bounds in 1991 when Fig Newtons turned 100 years old. A massive anniversary celebration with a price tag close to six figures was held in the town that year. The party included Fig Newton paraphernalia, a performance by Grammy-winning pop singer Juice Newton, and a fig-themed art contest. Additionally, participants were fed a barbecue lunch, and California Fig Advisory Board representatives announced that 25 fig trees would be planted in the city. And the festivities didn't stop there. A live big fig character from the 1970s ads and a 100-inch Fig Newton cookie both made grand entrances during the celebration. At the same time, attendees feasted on unlimited cookies at City Hall. However, probably not all of Newton's residents joined in with the Figgy festivities. By 1991, the town was reportedly a wealthy community filled with high-powered professionals who may not have had the time to celebrate a humble cookie. I don't have time for this today. Massachusetts is a proud baking state. In addition to Fig Newtons, Boston Cream Pie, Parker House Rolls, and Toll House Chocolate Chip Cookies are all products of the Commonwealth. So when Governor William F. Weld found himself in the middle of a cookie conundrum in 1997, all eyes were on what decision he was going to make. Would he sign or veto a bill to make Toll House Cookies the official state cookie? As it turned out, a third-grade class from Somerset, Massachusetts proposed the bill, thereby putting Fig Newton's place in history squarely on the line. In April, Weld spoke to the media and said, "'You got to stick with Fig Newtons. Everybody I knew grew up with Fig Newtons. They're delicious.'" But a few months later, the town of Whitman, the city where the Toll House restaurant created the now-legendary Toll House cookie, found itself pitted against Newton. Toll House ultimately won out on July 9, 1997. It's hard for any sweet treat to win a head-to-head -head battle against the beloved chocolate chip cookie. Still, Fig Newtons will live on in the hearts of the faithful in Massachusetts and beyond for years to come. 90s kids surely remember Fig Newton's yellow box and cookie-filled sleeves all too well. But as 90s kids grew into 21st century adults, Fig Newtons also grew up and got a significant facelift along the way. In 2012, Nabisco dropped the fig from the name, leaving a simplified Newton cookie on grocery store shelves. Why the drastic change? Nabisco had long produced other fruit Newtons, including strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, and cinnamon apple varieties. Furthermore, 21st century consumers reportedly didn't think fig were cool or hip, associating the fruit more with fiber content than with deliciousness. Before the relaunch, sales were declining, so Nabisco dropped the fig and adopted the more generic Newton name. Afterwards, sales picked up, mainly due to Newton fruit thins, serving as validation that this was a wise decision to prosper in the new millennium.
The Fig Newton's British cousin had quite a moment in the spotlight when Paul Hollywood put the humble fig roll on TV screens worldwide for an episode of The Great British Bake Off, also known as The Great British Baking Show. The bakers took to creaming butter and sugar for the soft biscuit dough and simmering figs in a sugar syrup before blending them into a paste. Then, without any extrusion press in sight, they had to roll the dough into a long log, pipe the fig paste filling down the middle, and roll it up to seal in the paste. When asked why he chose fig rolls for the Biscuit Week challenge, Hollywood revealed that they were one of his dad's favorite biscuits. So it seems that fig rolls and fig newtons have yet another thing in common. They're both sources of nostalgic cookie memories. I remember growing up with my dad eating these, watching the wrestling on a Saturday afternoon. How many could he eat? He'd probably go through a packet. <laughs> well, roll on fig rolls. Before we conclude, we have to tackle an age-old debate. Are Fig Newtons cookies or are they cakes? At face value, they certainly seem to tick all the cookie boxes. They're small, handheld, and packed in parallel sleeves. However, there was a time when they were presented as a cake. Fig Newton ads in the 80s even featured the slogan, A cookie is just a cookie, but Newtons are fruit and cake. In fact, Fig Newtons were known as cakes from the moment they were born up until the 80s. A vintage 1929 box even reads, Fig Newtons, Fig Cake in its finest form. A few decades later, though, the marketing changed, and Nabisco now referred to the product as a chewy cookie. In the UK, the figgy snack debate also runs rampant. After the Great British Bake Off aired its fig roll technical challenge during Biscuit Week, viewers took to social media to share their thoughts. One fan tweeted, It's in the biscuit aisle in British supermarket chain Asda. I rest my case. Another struck back, citing Wikipedia's classification of the treat as a cake. Olive Magazine editor Laura Rowe quieted the mayhem as she declared, The fig roll is definitely a biscuit. It has a firm bite to it, more like pastry if we're being pedantic. 